okay? So we haven't quite got to this point yet where people are throwing bombs, we're more in that aggressive frantic stage. So if you think about somebody gearing up, psychologically they go through a builder, right? So when we look at this, we're looking at that stage. So we're not throwing yet, but they're getting ready for that. So if you think about being in your non-aggressive stance, controlling that range, the other person is posturing, yeah? So if you think about it, they're blowing themselves up, they're being aggressive. You know, like, come on, let us have it, yeah, yeah, don't be like that, come on, let's go, yeah, that sort of thing, right? So we're working from that particular premise. So from here, I'm looking to control my range. Now, all I'm going to do here is step in, right? Now, I'm going to step in and I'm going to bring one hand up like this. Now, the reason for that is because I want him looking here so that he doesn't see this. Okay, so my movement look is bad. I don't want to fight, yeah? I don't want to fight. Okay, and then from here, look, just pop in. Now, push down on the head, pivot on the arms, lift here. One. Okay, now if we do this again. So when we think about this, the movement from this position is making sure we step in. Lift and pivot. Now as I pivot, I'm going to bring the knee. Boom. Okay, so we end up with that knee there. Now, from that position, keep turning him, walk. If I just turn him, he'll go round and round and round. If I turn him and walk, he'll go down. Okay, so, that's all we're going to do for the moment, we'll add on. So from here, then, this position, step in. Pivot knee, boom, turn, bring down. Then we'll add on. All right, go for it. We're still doing the same thing, I'm just going to add on to it, right? Two things I want to show, huh? So we're going to show a little finishing position on this, but I want to show this first. Now, if you're right handed, you can go to the right, if you're left handed, you can go to the left, or you can drop and change. It depends on the threat. But, something to bear in mind, most people are right handed, the sniper option, the big bomb, is going to come that side. Right? Most of the time. But again, you can have a look at the way they stood, the way their balance shifts. So if you think about somebody throwing a punch and meaning it, they're not just going to go like this, they've got to look at that bad boy. Okay? As soon as I see any kind of balance shift, boom, that's when I'm in. That's when I'm moving, okay? Now from here, we've got this connection, spin, bam, here. Drop them down. Now, I want to keep hold of this hand. Because what I'm going to do, if we all, right? What I'm going to do is grab, drop down on him, look. See, and what I'm doing is folding the wrist in up towards his own armpit and lifting. Boom. Okay? So, heel up, pivot, bring it up here. Okay, now, if we want to fold him out, I can do the same here. Push down on his tricep. Boom. And you see him going this way now, look. Okay, so, when you think about this and you think about sport variations, think about MMA, think about BJJ, then we end up on the ground. Not somewhere I actually want to be at this point, because if you're all his friends, it's not good for me. Okay? So when we look at this position, what I'm actually doing, look, locking him off, controlling him, but look, you stay there, stay there, yeah? I can see you, I can move. That's actually what I want. And if he wriggles, pop. Mm. Alright? Go! Yeah, there you go. Yeah. In the oven, in the oven. Yeah, there you go. Right, so we're going to go there now. Right, so go. Now, if you think about your position, right? Yeah. Now, this by itself is on fire. This oh, is way worse. Okay, so it depends on how I want to control it. So I can knee here, I can literally put my knee on here, yeah, yeah. which is quite bad, but it keeps him compressed. Right? Yeah. I've got to be aware of his breathing and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas if I go here, it's uncomfortable as hell, but I'm not actually affecting his breathing. Yeah. I'm not compressing it. Yeah. And, that, and that, that compression asphyxia, that position asphyxia, is something you want to be really careful of. Because if you can't breathe, you know, we all know where that is. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Yes. I'm going to show another variation. Right? 
And again, I know we're rushing through it. We will actually sort this down and, and, and refresh in a little while. Okay? So, oh, you put yourself all again. <laughs> no, 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 you don't. No, that's great. That's great. Okay. Right, now, from here, we're just going to look at uh, coming in from a punch, right? So we're going to use a smother block, okay, to a control down, right? Now, what we're looking at here is what we call a head turn to down. So first things first, smother block, what's that? Some people call it a crazy monkey. You can call it whatever you like, right? As long as you're doing it. So from my position here, if you think about that again, that big swing, right? So if you think about him throwing that swing here, my movement is the hand comes up here in our telephone block. So once more, so boom, here. So I'm just bringing it up. And again, so from here, boom, I'm just bringing that up. Now if I just stand there, throw that one, right then from the other side, then from the other side, sooner or later he's going to get lucky or I'm going to get tired, right? It's going to get me. So my motion on this is as soon as he throws, I do this, or I move into him. So what I'm actually doing, look, is this smother block or crazy monkey, right? So if I had it here, imagine myself running fingers through it. It's kind of like that. Hands are tight, boom, here. Now, from that position, he throws again. Boom, here, boom, 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 come in. Now, from here, I don't stick my head up like a meerkat. Bosh. Okay, head stays down. Hands come up. Now, one hand is on the back of the head, one hand is on the chin. Now from that position, I pivot, I turn, and I use his head to bring his body down. And again, from this position, we can do other things if we need to, right? The main thing is to get him from there to here. Once more, please. Okay, so, from our stance, he throws the punch. Block, slow the block in. Control his head, turn him, bring him down. Keep control of him. From there, you can disengage. Cool, have a go. There you go. Try it nicely first, but that was it. That was it. showed you. Okay, now, I want to set this up properly. I want you to get an assignment for this. Some of you have seen it before, some of you not so much, right? So, we just come forward a minute, Now, we're going to look at a basic double hand triangle, right? We're going to look at this. Now, you'll often see this done the wrong way. What I mean by that, we'll see it done like this. Arms will be outstretched. They'll be static. They'll be waiting patiently for some kind of sexy response. So grab me like that. Sexy responses. Things like this. All right? Perfect if he's what we call a good bad guy. And so what that means is he'll wait patiently until I'll do my thing, and then he'll proactively fall down like a football player, okay? No good. The thing is with that, one again, the thing is with these kind of things, if there's any kind of resistance, it boils down to strength. Right, who's stronger? That's it, we're in trouble there. And when it comes to things like kicking them in the neck, I mean, that's great, apart from one problem, put your hands down, I'm gonna be gentle. Fucking do something, stop me, come on, fucking do it! Right? Much harder for the kick than a balance. Also, much harder for him to do anything sexy because I'm not holding him like this. I'm inside, which is where I would be. The position of strength is here. When you think about holding a jam job, a tight leg, you're not out here. You're in here, it's in tight. Okay, we instinctively know that. So here, if I need this, there's going to be gravity, there's going to be movement. So, what we're actually going to do is we're going to turn and drop. I mean, so all I'm going to do to start with is just lift the shoulder and turn. Yeah. I didn't invent this, this has been around for thousands of years, Fox standard wrestling maneuver. Grab that. So here now, boom. Lift the arm. Lift the shoulder, turn, boom. Be careful of fingers, right? We come around the other way, so the shoulder the other arm. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is add onto this. Grab that. Now, if you think about what's the danger from here? Head, head. Yeah, head works absolutely, why not? So as I do this, I'm going to bring the hand up. So I'm going to control with this hand and turn here. Boom. What I'm doing is dropping body weight. So, grab scale, super super grab, boom. All right, now here, look, come here, close your hands, but great. Yeah. So here, boom. Now from here, I've got control of this hand. The reason for that is because I don't want to let him go. If I hit him once, grab the hold of him, he's off. If I control him, I can hit him several times. So, grab again, so turn, boom, drop, back, back. All right, that's it, have a go. Drop the body weight, boom. <laughs> Alright, so remember size not general, but okay, don't stick your backside out like this. Try and 
drop your body weight, pull through the centre. <laughs> All right, so. Final <laughs> yeah. body attack. So I'm just going to show, that's it add on to this, right? Yeah. So, again, we're not complicating things in the sense that we may or may not do any of these things. If he grabs, it may be enough for me to just go, but get off. Yeah, get it on. That might be enough. Or it might be that here I have to control him because there are other people around, right? It might be that there's a situation that means I can't just let him go and push him away. So here, look, when I come to this position, here now, this here, I'm not going to elbow. What I'm actually going to do is whip the arm backwards like this. So here, drop. Now, as I drop, see what happens to him. Now, watch. I want to separate here. So I'm not going to play with him. Right? Anyway, nice. What I'm going to do is stick my hand by his nose and push his head away from his shoulder here. See? Okay? Crumple. One more time. So he grabs. Connect, boom, drop. Flap the arm through. Push on his nose, bring him to the floor. And again, we can control, we can look to rein him in. We can do all sorts of stuff from that point, yeah? Well done, I'll be thanking you, friend. <laughs> right. Have a try. So, do I want to come out there, probably pushing the head out? Yeah, it's all in the head in. When you look at this position, right? Yeah. Like you did with drop here. Yeah. So you're 42? Yeah. Now, pressure. Yeah. See? So we're all away yeah. from That's all it is, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> now, I can walk him here. I can actually walk him out of the park if I need to like this. Or I can just take him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know I was listening to the ground, so bring her around. Yep. Take it out. One more this one. Yep. One more this one. 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 One more this